How's it going, everyone? I hope you all had a very hoppy Easter. You get it? Hoppy Easter? Because of the, uh, the, the the rabbit, the Easter, Easter bunny? Hops, hoppy. <laughs> spring is here, and I know a lot of people have been thinking about entering their home into the spring market. And some of the sellers that I meet with tend to get overwhelmed with the perceived cost of getting a home market ready. That's why today I'm bringing you my top five low cost or free ways to get your home ready for the spring market. And I'd like to preface this by saying before we truly begin to get your home market ready, it is uber important for me to come by your house. We'll go through the house room by room and prioritize what needs to be done most to get your home in its most marketable position. And without further ado, here are my top five free or low cost ways to get your home market ready for the spring market in 2023. Tip number one is to declutter and organize your home. You want to go through each room and get rid of things that are either out of place or you no longer need. Selling your home is a great time to go ahead and purge all the items that you no longer use. If you don't put your hands on an item within a seven day period, go ahead and box it up and put it in storage. You're already gonna be packing anyways. You might as well preemptively start here. I always tell people, less is more. Clear off all of your surfaces. Put away the things that are out of place. Give it a minimalistic feel. It's amazing what a difference this can make whenever we do the marketing. Which brings me to my second tip, and that is cleaning. Take the time to completely clean your home from top to bottom. We want this home to be the cleanest it has ever been since you moved into the home. Clean the baseboards. Make the surfaces and the floor shine. Dust your furniture. Dust your ceiling fans. A clean home not only looks good, but it feels good, and it makes it a lot more inviting. Presentation is everything. So let's take it outside and go on to my third tip, which is cut the grass. Curb appeal is very important, but it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. My assumption is if you own a home, you already have a lawnmower and a weed eater. Before the marketing, before it goes on the market, and once a week, make sure you get out there, thoroughly cut your grass, weed eat, and blow off all of the grass clippings. Also, mulch is less than $3 a bag from Lowe's or Home Depot. Get a few bags of mulch, Put a thin layer down to make it look fresh. It is a simple and cost-effective way to give your home more curb appeal. That brings me to my fourth tip, and that is make the home smell nice. I tell all my sellers that we are trying to create an emotional experience. When someone looks in a home, they experience the home, and all five senses are used. Put a couple of Glade plugins throughout the home. Light some scented candles. Create an emotional experience for your potential buyers. And that brings me to my fifth and final tip, but there's a caveat with this one. The fifth and final tip deals with repairs of your home. A lot of the sellers that I meet with want to go overboard with repairing every single little imperfection that they have accumulated in the home over the years. The sellers have lived in that home for a while. They know every single nick in the wall or scuff on the floor, and sometimes they can spend more money with more headache doing all of these little repairs when it may not be needed. My experience has been that buyers have blinders. They have tunnel vision. They'll walk into the house and they'll see the pretty colors on the walls or look at the floors or look at the countertops. Very rarely do they see every single little imperfection. And also more than likely, they'll get their own independent home inspection. So you can spend all this time and all this money making repairs throughout the home. They will get their home inspection and ask for completely separate repairs that you never even thought of and weren't concerned with the repairs that you previously done. That's why it is super important for me to come by your house and take a look at it room by room before you even start to get it market ready and we can prioritize what needs to be done. My objective with every listing is to get the home in its most marketable position, the most cost effective way that we can. So there you have it. That was my top five ways to get your home in its most marketable position for little to no cost to you. And as always, if you or anyone you know is looking to buy or sell a home in 2023, give me a call. It's Matthew Henniger with Remax First, aka the Fittest Realtor. Hope you all had a very hoppy Easter. Take the time to thorough. Take the time to thorough.
take the time to thoroughly, uh, 